Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome to you to my channel, TechnoCube. Uh, you all are in the course of cybersecurity, the fundamentals of cybersecurity. In the previous session, you had seen uh, various types of uh, uh, terms such as confidentiality, uh, integrity, availability. In the subsection, you had seen authentication and authorization, right? So you see, I got this scroll bar, so no problem now. So uh, th these are the things that you had seen uh, earlier and the session CIA triad and confidentiality we had seen authentication authorization um, this factors uh, then integrity we had seen uh, sorry there is this integrity here we had seen the uh, diagram of the integrity and uh, you can please uh, look after that uh, with this session we're going to understand how many what kind of people are there in the cyber security okay what kind of um, attackers okay what kind of hackers we are having different types of hackers you need to understand these right so how, how many types of hackers we are having? So let's let's list down and understand what they are actually, right? So I'm, I'm putting here as a different, uh, I think my screen is visible, different types of hackers. By the way, if you are new here, then please uh, hit like and subscribe to my channel to get new and latest updates on uh, the topic, various top topics. Uh, this channel is, uh, you know, having uh, ASP.NET, C Sharp, uh, mobile computing, mobile computing, wireless communication, cyber security. I'm also creating a new uh, series on computer networks. So if you're interested, please uh, go and look after it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for that. Uh, so the first uh, attacker or the first hacker, you, I think this name is very famous uh, with everyone. It's Black Hat, right? There is a movie Black Hat. Uh, the name is not based on that, but there is a black. Now, what are these black attackers? Well, you see, these black attackers are uh, kind of legal hackers. You know, they, but if they are illegal, but they have a superior knowledge of everything. Okay, superior knowledge of computer networks, superior knowledge of programming languages and security aspects. They know pretty much everything about it. Okay, they are just like uh, the god of cyber security. But the thing is, they are illegal person. Okay, they are illegal people who uh, just think about uh, their own benefit. They have extraordinary skills, but uh, these skills uh, uh, they use to hack someone, but but for their own benefit. So they they are hackers. You see, they're hackers with malicious intent. With malicious, this is the problem. This is malicious and destructive activities. Why I'm writing? Because you can write in your exam as well. Destructive activities. Uh, this will help you, right? Uh, with extraordinary skills. That is what I'm saying. They are having too much of knowledge, I think. You know, they have, they have so much skills and so much uh, knowledge they are having. Okay, and this skills, okay, this basic skills are going to use to distract someone. You know, they they distract someone, some some person or some computer or some larger organization. They are pretty much uh, skilled people, but they are illegal. Okay, they are pretty much illegal. They never take the permission, or uh, uh, what you can say, they never take permission from the people or organization that uh, um, they they are not testers. Okay, they they do not test. They just attack, okay, and they grab the access and uh, maybe uh, do some malicious thing there, okay. They are pretty much illegal. They never take the permission. However, there is a second type of uh, hacker, which is in contrast to the black hat, we have white hat, the white hat hacker. Now, so what is white hat hacker? It's a, it's a, it is in contrast to the black hat. They are completely opposite in nature. They are also having uh, extraordinary skills and knowledge and everything, but uh, they use the skills and knowledge for the benefit of the society. Okay, they are pretty much the analysts or the testers uh, or a kind of people who, a kind of researcher, you can say. They they have knowledge. They use this knowledge for the benefit of the society. Okay, uh, they find different vulnerabilities. They find zero day attacks. Uh, sorry, zero day vulnerability find the loophole and weaknesses and try to fix it okay these people releases the patches okay uh, for the vulnerabilities they are finding so they are good people so they they could be security analyst uh, i'm so sorry about this you but you can understand that this is a security analyst or an individual 
with hacking skills with uh, this is yeah with hacking skills using using them for defensive purpose using them for defensive purpose and the difference between these two you see these two difference the difference is this person is going to take the permission okay as he is a security analyst so he definitely going to analyze some someone or something so he need to take the permission take the permission from the user from the user or organization okay he will going to take the permission this is important however this will never gonna take the permission so once the permission is being granted then he can do some analysis work okay then he will find the different loopholes the weaknesses the vulnerabilities and will try to fix it it will tell the organization or the person that this is the problem in your computer this is the problem in your network this is the problem in your infrastructure it will tell them and uh, there might be possibility that it will create a patch for it or it will create a fix for it okay so this is the white hat hacker and after the white hat hacker there is a different person here which is which sits in between these white hat hackers and gray hat hackers so this is known as gray hat hacker sorry gray, white hat and black hat it's a gray hat hacker so what is this gray hat hacker well see these people uh, works offensively and defensively as well so it works offensive uh, as well as defensive so it depends on the target interest or the hack value so if the hack value is very large he can he can do the offensive okay if the hack value is very i mean um, not the range then he will provide a defensive so it depends on the attractiveness of the target okay so they are also skilled people they know the both things i mean black hat and white hat so it could be like a, a person who who had a, who is a white hat hacker uh, at the organization from 9 30 to 6 30 but after 6 30 he can be a black hat hacker so he can do hacking for his own benefit it's, it's a time a duration so he could be like a security analyst a security analyst in a company from 9 30 to 6 30 and doing all the benefit for the society however he could be a hacker a black hat hacker after 6 30 or uh, till uh, midnight or whatsoever so he's the right person at day but however a bad person at night so it's 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 a thing like that so you can understand the meaning i guess so he's an offensive as well as defensive so it's a great hat hacker so what is the fourth hacker well fourth hackers are the most brutal hacker it is known as suicide hacker so what is this suicide hacker you know they completely aim for destruction purpose only it's something it's something like a suicide bomber okay he is a, he, he's having a very straight aim to destruct this person okay he never worry about any punishment okay never worry about it so the aim is very clear here aim is very clear to distract without worrying about the permission uh, sorry punishment without worrying about the punishment this is the thing all right so this is a suicide hacker uh, sir what is the fifth hacker well the fifth hacker is basically uh, this is also very famous um, generally people know them uh, this, they are the people uh, it's known as script kiddies uh, script kiddies and uh, these the, the, they are they are very famous okay they they do they do a low level hacking and maybe high level hacking if they get something from a real hacker so these type of uh, script kiddie people take the uh, you know take the hack or you can say the the scripts or a program or an application from a real hacker and then use that script or that uh, application for his own benefit to hack someone okay so they are unskilled hackers basically they do not know much 
they just do they just know the tutorials like step by step that this is the first step this is the second step and this is the third step and boom there is a hack so they follow that you know procedure one by one by one step and then perform the hacking but they do not know what exactly these steps are okay they do not know the internal working of that thing so if there is a script and he will follow that script but he do not know what exactly this script is going to give you okay he, they are not analysts they are just kiddies they know how to operate the things so they are unskilled hackers and hacking and compromising the system compromising system using tools uh, using tools or using tools or scripts made by real hackers made by real hackers so the, these are these are some of the uh, things they are FIP. so uh, there are three more uh, types of hackers one is cyber terrorist uh, which is also very famous nowadays uh, it's in social media too much it's crumpling down everywhere so cyber terrorist there is a whole cyber terrorism topic uh, in the cyber security you can also opt for it so there is a cyber terrorist and they are pretty much skilled individual they are very much skilled and they are motivated motivated by religious or political beliefs okay they are motivated by religious and political beliefs they do not have their own beliefs someone is trying to educate you that this is the thing then you have to perform it okay so they are religiously and politically motivated and do a large scale uh, attack so i had seen that many muslim uh, individuals they are very good at cyber security they they are very keen at it they 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 create or develop so many good scripts so many uh, perfect application for hacking uh, their hacking style is uh, enormously very good okay they are very good at it but their motivation is wrong okay they they do a large attack for uh, or they create nuisance things so it's not a good idea right so cyber terrorists are skilled individual it's a skilled individual they are motivated uh, by religious or political beliefs religious or a political and this is the problem actually these two terms are pretty much uh, nasty here political belief uh, attacking on a large scale so you had seen many of the bombing and all uh, and uh, this mass promotion of uh, uh, this uh, isis uh, and thing like that attacking on large scale so this all based on whenever ISIS, these jihadis choose their individuals, they choose with this, uh, you know, motivation. They give, uh, you know, constant hitting on those political and religious thing. And then once the person is motivated by the thing, they give the, you know, the skill, the cyber terrorism skill that you can do this and you can do this with the help of social media. This is promoting day by day and it, it is increasing. Okay. So if you check this statistics from the statistic.com, uh, they will give you the cyber terrorist uh, uh, data. Uh, so then we have uh, something called as state-sponsored hackers. They are also very famous, state-sponsored uh, hackers. Well, you see, they are spies actually, and uh, they never come out, and we do not know what these people are. They are very much for the government, okay? So, uh, if uh, 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 one nation wants to know about the other nation's internal working, maybe about a very secret document, very confidential document, they want to see the military uh, information, they want to know about the disease, uh, want to know about the uh, pollution level, they want to know about uh, water crisis, and the very confidential data, right, about the go government, about the uh, people, uh, about the military intelligence. Uh, so these type of hackers gather the information from for the for, from the other nation. So they are uh, they are the government people actually. Okay, so they are employed employed by government to penetrate to penetrate and gain 
top secret information top secret or you can say confidential uh, information so information could be uh, could be here um, maybe uh, it's for military intelligence uh, intelligence um, corruption or you can say finance data uh, financial data or maybe uh, it could be water uh, crisis or something like that very critical information they want to grab they can grab uh, then uh, the last uh, attacker the, the the last one where is my mouse yeah so here so the last uh, attacker they are the hacktivists uh, so the hack uh, hacktivist so these are the hackers actually uh, they are the uh, uh, promoting political agendas okay they are the people who uh, who are pretty much active on the social media and every time they are promoting the political agendas uh, maybe uh, disabling websites by dos attack and the people like that okay they are very much active on the social media so the hackers they are not very good at you know hacking but it, they are unskilled actually hackers are promoting they just know this promotions and all okay a uh, hackers promoting a political agenda and uh, maybe uh, they can disable websites with simple attack Uh, with DOS or the DOS attack okay. so you had seen eight types of uh, hackers and uh, you see the first one is black attackers white attackers gray attackers suicide hackers script kiddies cyber terrorist state sponsored hackers hacktivist these are eight hackers so you can if you find this uh, terminology or the keyword anywhere in the book or in the course you can uh, grab the information from here okay so I hope you like the whole thing. Uh, if you uh, if you like this, please uh, hit like and share button. It would be uh, very great for me. And if you are new here, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for listening to me, and I will meet you in the next session. Thank you so much.